We're moving on. Let's uh, see. Steve in Virginia, what's going on? Good morning. Nice to talk with you again. I uh, had some notes that uh, from a previous show, and, and I was looking them over as for uh, a friend uh, with the hypothyroid situation, and I wanted to verify about the uh, iodorol. I think okay. uh, there was. Uh, I think uh, you'd mentioned it, and I and I was uh, looking reviewing the notes, and I and I and we, we found that I it was at the main. Uh, well, you'd mentioned B vitamins and uh, a few things, but uh, we were. I guess we were trying to. Uh, Check again on the on the uh, this particular supplement. Uh, Iodorol. Yeah. Okay, that, that, yeah. Is, that, is that accurate? That sounds. Yes. Uh, Iodorol is a form of iodine. It's very usable by the body. It comes in uh, 50 milligram tablets, I believe. Uh, uh -huh. And uh, 50 milligrams is a bit of a high dose. 25 milligram. By the it comes in 50 milligram tablets. I think it's uh, also available as 25 milligram tablets um, as well. I'd be taking 12 and a half milligrams of iodine a day. That's a good place to be. Or 12 and a half milligrams of iodorol a day. Iodorol is actually a blend of two different types of iodine. So a 12 and a half milligram uh, tablet of of uh, iodorol will have five milligrams of iodine and seven and a half milligrams of iodide for a total of 12.5 milligrams and that's pretty much a nice standard dose. Dr. David Brownstein who's considered the go-to expert on all things iodine, he's got a couple great books on iodine if you're interested in and he's also got a good newsletter too and I know Dr. Brownstein, I've actually went to a seminar with him and I do, uh, he's got some really good information about iodine. He recommends 12 and a half milligrams a day to start. Uh, uh, you can take 25 milligrams of iodine. Doctors hate people to take that much iodine. Doctors feel like all you need is the RDA. I don't necessarily want to go there. Here's the thing, though, Steve. You don't want to be using iodine or iodorol as a, um, as a treatment for taking care of the thyroid. Iodine, as it turns out, is not just important for the thyroid. It's important for all the glands of the body. It's important for adrenal health. It's important for pancreatic health. And it's especially important for protecting the body from excess estrogen. If you're dealing with any estrogen issues, fibroids, uh, cysts, PMS, if you're perimenopausal, if you have any kind of estrogen issues, you definitely want to be taking iodine. It's super important for protecting the breast from breast cancer. Uh, there's actually a, 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 breast, a cancer, breast cancer protecting supplement called DIM uh, that also can be helpful, or I3C, that's another one that could be helpful. But I would certainly be taking iodine if I was dealing with any kind of estrogen issues. Everybody should be taking a little bit of iodine. If you have a thyroid problem, iodine can be helpful, but I don't want anybody to get the idea and the reason I have to reinforce this is because there's a lot of misinformation that says, oh, you have hypothyroidism, take iodine. It doesn't work that way. If you're dealing with hypothyroidism, you are dealing with the third point on our triangle of disease. And remember, the triangle of disease is the digestive system, which breaks down first, always. The blood sugar system, which breaks down second, always. And then the adrenal slash thyroid system, I've lumped those two together because of their biochemical link. The adrenal thyroid system is the third point of disease. So if you're dealing with hypothyroidism, you're also dealing with adrenal issues, blood sugar issues, and digestive issues, and those are what you want to focus on. That having been said, there are great nutrients that you can take for the thyroid after you've taken care of, after you've taken care of your digestive health and your blood sugar health, or at least started to take care of your digestive issues and blood sugar issues. And I don't want to hear anybody tell me that they're hypothyroid and they don't have digestive problems. It can't happen, first of all, because of this whole sequence in the triangle, but second of all, because the thyroid regulates the digestive system. The thyroid regulates everything, folks. Every single cell in the body is dependent on thyroid hormone. You cannot be hypothyroid and not have other things go wrong, especially the digestive tract. And by the way, thyroid hormone is activated partially at least, by bacteria in the digestive system. So if you're dealing with bacterial issues, probiotics, uh, or I'm sorry, dysbiosis, if somebody's told you you need probiotics and you're dealing with intestinal bacteria issues, you're going to have a problem activating your thyroid hormone. So this link between the digestive system and the thyroid is close, it's intimate, and you cannot address hypothyroidism simply by using nutritional supplements, simply by taking some kind of, uh, of uh, uh, thyroid formula, some kind of thyroid thyroid magic potion, you got to focus on number one, digestive health, number two, blood sugar health, then the adrenal thyroid system. Thanks so much for calling on that, Steve. Appreciate it. I hope we helped you out. And that's all the time 
we have for today. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of you callers. I appreciate all our listeners. I appreciate all our letter writers very much. If you are dealing, folks, with any kind of chronic breakdown, degenerative disease, if you're dealing with arthritis, if you're dealing with diabetes, if you're dealing with autoimmune disease, please understand that you are not condemned. They are all reversible. They're reversible using mental strategies and emotional strategies. They're reversal. They're uh, reversible using digestive or dietary strategies, and they're most importantly reversible using nutritional supplementation. That's why we're here every day. I understand that the world of nutritional supplementation can be confusing. I understand that it can be overwhelming, and that's why we're here to help you understand how to use that, how to take advantage of nutritional supplementation, how to bypass this overwhelming and confusing using nature, how to not be overwhelmed when you go into the health food store, when you go into the vitamin store and you look at all the crazy nutrients and crazy vitamins and crazy supplements that are out there. It's really a simple matter of what I'm calling the eight chapters of good nutrition, protein, fats, carbohydrates, fiber, water, vitamins, minerals, and trace nutrients. And we're here every day on the bright side, five days a week, helping you try, helping you understand that. You can also go to my website, brightsideben.com. Check out the eight chapters of Good Nutrition video. We have articles up there as well. And of course, we have all the longevity products there too. And you'll find a Join Now link on the upper left-hand corner of the page at brightsideben.com if you want to make some money selling longevity products or if you want to contribute to the mission of helping everybody on the planet understand how important a nutritional supplementation program can be. All right, that's all the time we have for today. On Monday, I'll tell you about this mineral. That is sulfur sister mineral, very important for uh, helping build glutathione. It's got wonderful detoxing properties. It's a mineral that was named after the Greek goddess of the moon. I'll tell you what that is on our next Bright Side program. Stay tuned for Alex Jones next on most of these stations. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We will talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Managing your business and customers isn't easy, huh? Snapforce Customer Relationship Software may be just what you need. Snapforce CRM is a software solution that helps you manage everything important about your customers, from sales to marketing to service and support. All of your customer information is right there at your fingertips for easy access. It's time to take control of your business in a snap. Get your free trial at snapforce.com. That's S-N-A-P-F-O-R-C-E dot com. Snapforce.com. The experts at Web.com want to build your business a successful website for free, just like we did for these current Web.com customers. We've used and, and looked at other website designers, but there's nobody better than Web.com. Web.com can build your website in as little as seven days free. Plus, we'll promote it on all the major search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing. If after 30 days you're happy, we'll continue to provide promotion, hosting, support, and maintenance, all for one low monthly fee. If not, cancel and pay nothing. If you're in business today and you don't have a web presence, you won't be taken seriously. Call right now and you'll also get a free .com or .net domain name for your new website powered by Verisign, the world's leading domain name provider. Call 800-297-0154. That's 800-297-0154. No upfront charge for site build, after which ongoing fees apply. Rights to site are relinquished when canceled. Domain included during...